Yeah. So this is the cockpit that I'll A great size for all these guys. Hello and welcome back, people of Earth. So today, I'm gonna to be just talking about some of the chickens. I've got two new ones that I need to show you, but first I need to move one of the cockerels that is in this enclosure right now into the bigger pen because they're, I have two and they're starting to fight each other, which ain't good. So uh, I'm just gonna pick him up and then just quickly move him over into the bigger enclosure. And then these other three will be going into a other enclosure once it's built, but for now they'll be staying in here. All right, so this is the cockerel that I'll be moving. Uh, he hasn't got a name. We're keeping both the cockerels because we're going to be having three chicken pens in the future. So even though we've got two, we'll probably be having three cockerels. So we need to buy another one. But this guy is going to go in the big chicken pen with Sydney and all that lot. So yeah, I'm going to go and take you guys and him over. Just to open the cage. This cage is a pain in the ass because you can't really open it and close it with one hand. But let's go and take him over. So this, this is the enclosure that I'll be going in. The big, nice big one with all of the chickens. He's still young. He's uh, got a couple of, well, he's still going to need to grow a little bit. But uh, he'll, be do he'll do fine in here for the time being. So because he's in here with loads of cockerels, it may look like he's going to get picked on, which he probably will. This is because the chickens are going to be establishing a pecking order. So when he's grown up a little bit more, he will be at the top because he'll be a cockerel. But because I've only got hens at the moment, these two hens right here are at the top. So they're kind of telling him, oi mate, we're at the, we're at the top of the pecking order at the moment. And they're kind of just establishing that, you know, kind of calm down and um, you've got to kind of abide to our rules. This is our territory. That's what they did to Sydney when Sydney was first in here. They kind of went, oi, Sid, uh, we're, the top, we're the top dogs in here. Did you get, to, uh, so mess with us and, uh, but kind of Sydney's, Sydney's learned that, you know, they're, they're not to be messed with. And so will this little cockerel, he'll learn as well. As you can see, he's trying to get out at the moment, but I can assure you there's no way for him to get out. Hello. So, um, yeah, I've got him right here. I was wrong. He could get out. This little gap right here where we feed them through I saw him getting pecked on and uh, he just hopped straight through and I've just been chasing him for about 10 minutes around the garden so what I'm gonna have to do now is just put him back in with these guys um, have to sort out whether I should put him in with these two spoiler they're the new ones or keep them in here because they do peck each other a little bit but they're not proper fighting yet because they're still quite young so I'm, I reckon I might just wait and see what happens so yeah I'm just gonna pop him back in here and then I need to feed these guys there we go all right so at the moment this is the new enclosure for the two beautiful silky chickens hens that I have. I've called them salt and pepper because one is black and one is white. Uh, I'm gonna get both of them out for you in just a second. But this is a temporary enclosure. They are gonna go over there in a separate coop where my auntie has a lovely cockerel, lovely purebred silky cockerel such as the, like these are. And hopefully I'll be breeding some chicks uh, which are purebred. But yeah, I will get salt or pepper out dependent on which one comes first. This temporary enclosure will uh oh come on me. Here we go. This is salt as you can see she is the white one. She, they are absolutely beautiful chickens. All the fluffy head on them this is all the proper signs of a silky, of a purebred silky that you want. Absolutely fluffy. Um, silkies are a part of the Bantam family, which means they are 
very small species of chicken, so they are great if you have a small garden in your where you live and you want some like chickens, these are perfectly great. So, because the enclosure that they're gonna be in, it's not gonna be as big as that one that I've just shown you, but it's gonna be a great size for these guys. This is a full grown silky. She looks quite big from the angle that I'm holding her, but compared to Polly and especially Big Red, she is a very small species of chicken. Silkies are known for their plumage of feathers, like on the top of their head. This one is a white one. I'm gonna go and get Pepper out now and you'll see the difference between her and Pepper because she is a pure white and Pepper is pure black. Come here, Pepper. Here's Pepper. You can probably tell why I've called them salt and pepper because of their colours. But as you can see, Pepper is pure black. I'm actually thinking of entering these in chicken shows and showing them because of how lovely their colours are. Uh, probably more salt than Pepper because uh, Pepper's got some kind of feathers, uh, like kind of white feathers, and what the shows look for is just a pure black chicken. But maybe some of her babies might, and I might be keeping some of the babies. But that's when I've obviously got a cock. So as you can see, she's a lovely chicken as well. These guys will be moving very soon. Ooh, there you go, guys. I'm going to close this up. I'll show you the enclosure now. So this is their temporary enclosure. And there's Dexter. But this is a perfect size for them. To be honest, some people actually keep their silkies in these types of enclosures their whole life. But obviously, I would like them to have an amazing life, so I'll have them a lot bigger. As you can see, that's where we originally had them. It, we've, uh, we're soon to put wheels on this, and it's got a mesh bottom, so when we lift it up, we can uh, move them while they're still inside the enclosure. They have an upstairs area. I don't know if you can actually see that. There's a ramp that leads upstairs, and they've also got a downstairs area. That is all waterproof, so when it rains, they can go under there, because silkies, you don't want them to get them wet, especially if you want to show them. They have their water and and their food bowl right there. They also need filling up, so I'll be doing that, but I won't bother showing you because it's quite simple. You just tip the food in and refill the water. But as you can see, they are lovely birds. I've had them for about a week now. I wanted to have them for a week before I did a video or hold them just to let them settle in. And as you can see, I've just held them and they're already eating away and uh, acting like nothing's really happened. But yeah, they are beautiful birds. All right, so that is everything for today. This is the uh, beautiful little baby silky. So these, all of these ones in here are half silky, half something else. Don't really know, but this one looks a lot more like a silky than the other one. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for today. Uh, so I'll thank you for watching and see ya. Be free!